So I'll no longer be doing unboxings in the cameraman's office because I finally have my own legitimate office. Cameraman, if you could do a quick 360 here and pan around, check out the new office. Yeah, there, <laughs> that was awkward. So today we're gonna be unboxing the Kingston SSD Now V-Series Solid State Drive. This is a 128 gig drive and it is part of their uh, notebook upgrade kit series of drives. So it's a V series drive, which means it's a little bit slower than a V plus, but still a very fast SSD. Let me just see if I can find the specs on the box here. Okay, you know what? No, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna go Kingston SSD now on the NCIX website. Okay, so we got the V series Gen 2 128 gig. You can see it's actually on special this week if you wanted to buy this without the laptop upgrade kit. It's only $254.99. Apparently I unboxed it once already without the laptop upgrade kit, but um, I guess that doesn't really matter. There's no... Uh... Wow, that was when I was using that table in my house. That's not a very good place to do an unboxing. So I'll be doing them in my new office. That'll be way better. Okay, so the 128 gig is up to 200 megabytes per second read and 160 megabytes per second write. And check this out. See this drawer? I'm gonna be keeping a knife in it. Yeah, so now we've got, even that is all taken care of. So let's get this opened up and have a look at exactly what Kingston includes with their 128 gig notebook upgrade kit. So first of all, we have the outer sleeve that comes off and I guess there's something on here. Okay, so it says it's fast, reliable, and silent. That pretty much goes for all decent quality SSDs these days, and the Kingston one is definitely decent quality, uh, if not excellent quality. So, oh, cool, that has a Kingston logo on the plastic. Then we have a driver disc. Oh no, this is cloning software. This is really useful then. So basically, what makes this a laptop upgrade kit is that it has everything you need to take your existing laptop hard drive and transfer it directly onto this Kingston SSD. So you use the hard drive cloning kit along with the included two and a half inch hard drive enclosure. So you throw your SSD in the drive enclosure or vice versa, I guess. Then you use a USB cable to plug it into your computer. Then you use the cloning software to completely copy all of your old hard drive contents onto the new SSD. You've also got a Molex to SATA adapter for power, for whatever reason, okay? Not really sure why. Let's get the drive opened up and we'll have a look at the SSD itself. Okay, so it's got a nice sort of dark uh, blackish grayish finish on it. You can see this is an evaluation SSD, so it is not for resale. Uh, the warranty is void if you remove this particular screw over here. You've got mounting options uh, for two and a half inch drives on both the sides as well as on the bottom. So you're going to be able to mount this in any laptop. Okay, it is a thin drive, so it's not going to uh, not fit in a laptop because it's too thick. I've seen that before uh, with something like the Seagate Velociraptor. Even though it's two and a half inch, it's actually too thick. So that's something to bear in mind. And I guess that pretty much covers it. It's got a Kingston label on the top, which is all shiny. And then we've got our SATA power as well as SATA to data connectors at the back. And cameraman wants me to have sort of a closer look at the drive enclosure that's included. So this is a very, very basic drive enclosure because I guess it's pretty much intended to be used once, though, actually here, okay, so we'll show the installation procedure. Why not? It's that easy. You just slide off the top, slide the SSD in, it clips in just like that, so it's not gonna come out, and then you close it. That was incredibly easy. You know, this is probably the easiest to install external drive enclosure I've ever seen and uh, it comes for free with the drive, so you can't really complain. Yeah, there, you slide it on from the top, just like that, and then you've got your, you know what, here, why don't we just see if this works? There, I'm gonna plug it into my USB cable on my computer here. Okay, the power light turns on. I'm gonna just sort of close my reports and my uh, MSN, and this, well, the cameraman doesn't look at my screen. Doesn't look at my screen, closing all my stuff. There we go, okay, so my devices are ready to use. And I can go into my computer and I can access it just like, oh no, I can't. Okay, well what I'll do, actually this is an interesting tip. Not everyone knows how to do this. If you right click computer and then click manage, then in theory it'll bring up the prompt if your computer is a little bit faster than mine, where you can actually manage your drives. Let's try that one more time. There we go, it is adding a snap-in console, whatever that means. 
I've never seen this take that long. There we go, finally. Disk management. And that is where you are able to initialize a new disk, um, format an existing one. You can actually rearrange the drive letters. So if you want to change your, your C drive to your Z drive, if you feel like it, or your D drive to your X drive, you can do that in here. It is going incredibly slow, and I can't figure out why it's doing that. But either way, that's where you do it. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Kingston SSD Now V-Series Notebook Upgrade Kit. And this is the 128 gigabyte version.